Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ashley and this is Ashley Talks Movies. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the new documentary, The Donut King, which is essentially about a Cambodian refugee who came to the United States in the 1970s and built this donut empire uh, in Southern California, LA area. Uh, before I get into the full review of the film, while I have you here, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is posted. Okay, so on to the review. The Donut King is about Ted Noy, a Cambodian refugee who comes to the United States in the 1970s. He works some small odd jobs before he eventually is able to open his own donut shop. And from there, he was able to build this donut empire uh, in the Los Angeles area and became this sort of rags to riches story. And The Donut King is a really fascinating film. It's a fun film, it's a heartfelt film, and it was very informative. I really enjoyed this film a lot. On the surface, it's a rags to riches story. It's the typical American dream, right? This, this ability for someone to come to this country with nothing and able to become successful. Um, and it was really fascinating learning about sort of the, the donut market in Los Angeles area. I had no idea. I'm not from LA. I've never, you know, lived in LA. Um, but yeah, a lot of the uh, donut shops in and around the LA area, uh, you know, especially during, you know, the, the late 70s, early 80s, uh, were owned predominantly by Cambodian Americans. And that was mostly thanks to uh, Ted Noy, who, again, he came over, he started opening up these donut shops, and then he was able to become successful, and then he helped other Cambodian refugees, um, you know, family members come over, and they were able to open up donut shops, and it just built this network, this empire of all these stores. And so it was really fascinating, this documentary goes through all of that, it goes through, um, you know, Ted Noy's, um, uh, you know, from him leaving Cambodia, coming to the United States, uh, the jobs that he worked, his, you know, his family getting sponsored, uh, and him buying his first shop. It takes you all through that. And then also him helping other families um, and how he kind of built his his success. And um, But it's not a typical Rack to Riches story. Uh, there are some, some sad moments in this film. I won't spoil it. But, um, but you know, this film is very heartfelt too. What I did really enjoy about this film is that it, it, even though it is a Rags to Riches story, it's not just about, you know, this one man's success. It also touches on, um, you know, immigration and, you know, life for someone who, who leaves their country, you know, refugee, and how hard it is, you know, sometimes to come to this country uh, to make it, uh, you know, the process. And uh, so I liked that uh, aspect included in, in the documentary too. So there's a lot going on in this documentary, but I never felt overwhelmed by the story or the storytelling. I really liked how they put this film together. Uh, they used animation throughout this film to flash back to Ted, parts of Ted's life in Cambodia. And I really liked how they used animation to kind of break up that part of the story. They talked to Ted Noy, they talked to Ted Noy's family. Uh, they talked to people he helped with uh, you know, opening their own donut shops. Um, so it was really nice to get very different perspectives on, on, on Ted from different people. Um, they even talked to people who, who you know, almost, you get the sense based on uh, the discussions with those people that you know, Ted is sort of this like legendary figure, right? This sort of like mythical figure who like they heard about but never met. You know, they heard stories about him but they, they never met him and they know he did all, this, all these things. Um, so it was nice having that aspect in there as well. This film was really, really good. It's really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I was entertained throughout. Like I said, it, it, it has some high moments and some low moments, um, but uh, it's heartfelt and it was really well put together. And it, I, going into it, I, you know, I didn't quite know what to expect. I thought I was just going to watch this documentary about a guy who you know, built a donut empire, but it was so much more than that. And it's just such a rich little documentary. And I think a lot of people Enjoy. So if you get a chance to watch it, definitely, definitely watch it. It's really good. So those are my thoughts on uh, The Donut King. Let me know what you think about the film in the comment section below. While you're here, like this video, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so you see more videos like this. Bye.